Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is just a quick on the spot sort of a analysis of Holochain. Um, maybe analysis is the wrong term, but what I'm actually gonna do is just talk about the listing on Binance and whether or not I think it's a good investment. So let's get right into it. So if you've been following the space, you'll know about Holochain. It's another DAP platform, but it doesn't use the uh, typical means of a uh, distributed ledger technology in that they're, they're not a blockchain. They're a uh, similar not similar, but a distributed database. Um, I don't want to get too much into the uh, technicals of the project because I don't think I can do it justice. I will leave it a, a link or a description in the description below of what Holochain is so you, you can read it properly and get a better understanding. But again, I don't want to explain something that I'm not too te technically sure of. Um, but what I can say is that I do believe it to be a, a solid investment. And the reason I'm going to say that is, is that um, A, it's a DAP platform. So I'm actually not usually a fan very much of new DAP platforms, as I find most of them to be uh, not offering too much unique value proposition compared to the already existing players, especially now that we have Ethereum, we have EOS, we have Neo, Zilliqa, Neblio, Nulls, there's just so many, it's, a, it's pretty saturated. And with not a lot of DAPs on them already that are functioning, we just, we have like, too many DAP platforms, not enough functioning DAPs. So I think if people focus a little more on actually building some of these uh, decentralized applications, that might actually be good, good for the market. But Holochain is a little different in that they're not your typical just copy code based from Ethereum, EOS, or whatever. They're, they're actually their own code, and they're doing things a little differently. That's one of the reasons why I'm actually a big fan of IOTA. Even if IOTA doesn't work out, just the fact that they're researching a different technology in uh, DLT, namely DAGs, is just really positive for the space and positive for innovation. So any company or any uh, team foundation that does that gets my respect in that they're, they're trying to innovate. Um, the second reason is that it is a cheap coin. Now it's a high supply coin, which a lot of people aren't a fan of because they think that it uh, sort of deprives from the scarcity of the, pro of the, of the coin. But uh, I don't know, I, that's not a big deal to me. I mean, Bitcoin is sort of, um, what's the word like? artificially low supply but like the decimal places make it actually quite a large supply but anyways let's not get too much into that um when a tr coin is cheap for example like verge cardano during the last uh bull run a lot of the retail investors get super excited about it they get over exuberant because they think that they're going to buy into the next ripple that'll go from one penny to three dollars um that likely won't happen with Holochain. its supply is really really high but the uh the circulating supply versus the, the total supply, a lot of the circulating supply is already in circulation, so you don't have to worry about too much crazy inflation. That's one of the reasons why I uh, didn't want to invest too heavily into IODEX and I didn't stay in it, because there is only one tenth of the supply that's that could ever exist on the market, so that, to me that's too much inflation possible. But uh, yeah, guys, don't buy into Holochain right now. It's already sort of had its, its listing pump. It might go up two, three, four X. Uh, I doubt that because it's, it's already a uh, rank 80 token, as uh, a coin, sorry. And, um, but look for it to get listed. I would wait for a retracement. It'll, it'll probably happen. Most of the Binance uh, listings in the bear market sort of, that, that kind of happens. Although I'm not really even sure if we're in a bear market anymore, but look for a retracement. Uh, most, most of the new tokens go for a listing reversal usually within the first week or week after they get listed. Um, take a steady position in it. Again, don't, don't over to diversify into alts. In fact, again, right now, I, as I keep saying, keep your Bitcoin, your uh, Bitcoin position high. A lot of good news on the front for, for the king. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm really happy to see a project like Hollywood Chain get listed. A lot of people made fun of it, um, calling it Boomer Chain or a uh, Foot Chain, um, you know, mean stuff like that. But it's a really uh, innovative project and it's actually been in the works for years and years. So to see a project that's innovative um, get listed on Binance, it's, it's just great. I, I'd rather see that than some, you know, mainframe or fucking sorry for swearing but you know I, I don't like these ICOs that immediately get listed on Binance when they already have you know so much of the supply or the capital locked up in these um, uh, pre-sale investors I just don't, I don't think it's a really fair distribution but you know I, I'm not against hierarchies and uh, lastly um, lack of exchanges uh, the for Binance is the first real big exchange that we're seeing and before this it was on IDEX and just being on IDEX it was actually already getting like a million plus daily volume so that was really impressive but in the future look for BitThumb, Upbit, Bitrix, Bitfinex 
you know, a solid project like this with a good innovation and real use case, that's already like, you know, it's, it's already in its mainnet, it's already a working network. Uh, look for that um, addition of uh, liquidity to really help the long-term uh, stability slash upside of the price. Yeah, so overall guys, great project, super uh, innovative. Um, I would recommend investing in it, although this is not financial advice, yada, yada, yada. Yeah. Um, but yeah, keep it on Holochain. Data Dash recommended it a while ago. So if he's holding that, congrats. And uh, yeah, guys, have a good one. Cheers.